What is good, my people, my mouth and out fans? What's happening? We're in Georgia today. Georgia. Georgia. <laughs> right now, I'm here with D Jizzle, man. You hear me? No Memphis, baby. It's that ugly money. <laughs> D Jizzle in the building, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining me today, my man, brother. No doubt. No doubt. All right. The name. Where does the name come from? The name, the name. Pretty simple, you know. My name is uh starts with a D, ends with a J. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, you know, last first name D, last name J, and it started out DJ. You know what I'm saying? Coming gotcha, up gotcha, as gotcha. a youngin, so it was like you know a lot of DJs and D and all of that. And then once I started doing music, they switched over to D Jizzle. They just started calling me Jizzle. I was like, all right, they go with it. <laughs> nice, know? nice, nice. Um, how long you been doing music? Been doing music since I was what they were about fourteen. I've been around it for a minute, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Of course, like church and all that coming up, but you know what I'm saying? Me actually getting into the industry type stuff. Yeah, about like 14. 14? Mm -hmm. How are you now if you don't? I'm 31 now. 31, so yeah. like a 15, something like 15 yeah, years, so 15, 16, yeah, 15, something like 16, that. Yeah. Um, what was it like in your household growing up? Well, you know, pretty deep, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Six kids, you know what I'm talking Six about? Six kids. So, yeah, I'm mm -hmm. the third child. Uh, it was pretty cool, man. Just a lot of normal stuff, you know what I'm saying? Back and forth with the brothers and the stuff. Facts, facts, facts. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. What was your um, uh, parents or mom, dad, were they playing music in the household? How were you, how do you, do you remember like how you were introduced to music in general? Man, yeah, it was pretty much the older folk, you know what I'm saying? Playing the blues and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Heard a lot of blues songs coming up, transitioning into, uh, a whole bunch of R. Kelly, you know what I'm saying? And then it was a whole bunch of gospel. So it was like, Thanks. you know, a little soul for feel, I guess. I don't know. Uh, what, is brothers and sisters or just? I have uh, what grow that I grew up with. Uh, my immediate is just one sister and five, I mean, four brothers. Were they doing music at all or anything like that? Nah, nah. No, nah, I don't think nobody. <laughs> really. Everybody did a little something, you know. Like I said, the regular stuff, but like really you into took music. It, yeah, like, yeah. And like my sister liked the same, but she ain't just like no pursuer of it. Got you, know you got you. So, she yeah. just enjoys it. Cause mm -hmm. you said y'all was in the church, right? Were y'all yeah. in the choir at all? And yeah. Uh -huh. Got you, got you. Everybody grew up in the church, man. Everybody grew nah, up in the church. That's grounded. Yeah. A lot of successful artists grew up in the church for sure. Yes, sir. Do you think nowadays, like church is losing its, uh, you know, not as many people going type thing? Mm. I mean, I couldn't really say because I really ain't been like you know what I'm saying too much into it. Like, <laughs> I mean, but you're, like, I guess but, you're older now. Yeah, but, but it's know. like you know what I'm saying. I think it, I think it's for who it's for to where whoever going right now. You know what I'm saying. It's probably a nice little it. amount of them. Like you know what I'm saying. <laughs> they think it's it was different for me. It's like you know I I, I don't I wouldn't say I I learned it all, but like, yeah. you know I went long enough to where from shoot from a baby all the way up to like 18, 21, 22. I'm like you know. I mean, at this point, you. you know, I think I got a good gist of it, so For I sure. just, you know. I'm yeah. the same way. Then I ain't want to just be with the back and forwards anyway. If I was going to jump on out there and let, <laughs> let God carry me, I had to just go and do that, you know. Right. So, yeah, that's what it's been, though. Okay. Yeah. When did you um, hop in the studio? Studio, studio, studio. Ooh, wee. Let's see. When I jumped into the, the music, so at 14, 15, but it wasn't like no, you know. See, we ain't really, it wasn't really just a studio, but it, it was our studio. So we had this little, we stayed in the duplex, and you know what I'm saying? We had the little uh, outhouse in the back, you know, connected to the judge. Just a smaller room, no bigger than this little uh, space we got right here. And we had the little cassette yeah. tape, you know what I'm saying? Hit the buttons cassette and got tape. in, you know what I'm saying? Hell hey, yeah. Shit. yeah. You, you so, was in like a group? Yeah, like yeah, yeah. It was called the Crystal Ballers, man. The crystal what? Ballers. The crystal baller. Oh, okay. yeah, crystal ballers. Yeah. Ballers. Okay, <laughs> I get, I get it, I get it. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. fire. Then, um, so yeah, they then you know 
So that's really how it happened. Yeah. Are, are the they? Group, are group, are right? any of them still doing music to this day? And were all of them rappers, or was like a dude a beat maker, and then the other one I guess it was might have been it was all of it really. Okay. So it was like everybody rap and sing. Well, not everybody didn't sing, but uh, pretty much I was they singer because like I said I came up singing when they grabbed me. I was fresh out of the church thing, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it was like yeah, I was they singer, and all of them rapped, including they sister, because it was the six of them too, five boys, one girl, mm-hmm. and they sister was the youngest. So it was six of them, and then we just started. They asked me one day what. I, my best friend to this day, but my brother really, my blood at this point. R.I.P. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, man, yeah, he met me in class one day, and he was like, shoot, <laughs> man, you want to join our group? Hey, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. I'm like, what? A group? What you talking about? He's like, man, we rap and stuff like that. I'm like, I guess. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know. I did like, you? Yeah, I was going to say, did you know, like, was there any other, like, you know, rap group locally. Not really, you know like, what I'm I mean, not that I paid attention to, Facts. like, you know what I'm saying? I just wasn't really just into the lane like that. I just knew I could sing a little bit, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And, you know, a couple of guys want to start something. Well, I'm, I always been outgoing, you Facts. know what I'm saying? Cause I really started out with, like, the acting and comedy. And oh, stuff, really? You know what I'm saying? Dancing. So when it came down to singing and being in the group, I'm like, hey, you know, let's do it. <laughs> let's, yeah, let's see what we can do. Oh. Um, So, Ugly Money. Yeah. How did he discover DJ? Doing his usual tour, I guess, at this point for me understanding it. You know what I'm saying? He do this tour every year. Yep. And get everybody together, bring him out to the summit and try to give him a chance to either get signed or, you know, get managed by a certain label. And so, plus he put a little bag on top of it too for anybody <laughs> who win, you yeah. know. And so, he came out to Memphis. Wow. And, 15 you know racks, something like that. Yeah, it you know? was just something like that. <laughs> and then, you know, like when he came to Memphis, I ain't know nothing about it. Like somebody actually yeah. just hit me up out of the blue, you yeah. know what I'm saying, like day before or something like that. And I went up there or whatever. When they got talking about a hundred dollars for a song, I'm like, man, I, I wound up spending two hundred though. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, I need to try to get this. You hear me? Just for a bigger give bag. Two of them. Like, yeah. So, <laughs> Hell but yeah. then I ain't even win. You know what I'm saying? But then I think I. Uh, yeah, yeah, I ain't win. So somebody else had won, but they left. So I slid into like the alternate spot. You know mm. what I'm saying? So I went from not winning at all to sliding to in to somebody left to coming out to That's the A God and right competing there. them three days in a row and coming out a winner. So it was, nah, yeah, everything was most definitely a blessing. So now, okay, you have you heard of him before, before you came? No, nah, I hadn't heard of him. So look, you ain't heard of him. Okay, you see he's doing these showcases, whatever, yeah. and then he's like, cool, he's talking to you, he wants to sign you, yeah. and he talk about moving you out here type shit. Yeah. Is that, do you believe it immediately, or like, what are your immediate thoughts? Well, we actually, we ain't had um, too many of those conversations. Like, when I won, it was more so of like, you know, after that, especially after that day, like, I knew I needed to be out here. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I just got signed. So, yeah, I was out here, you know what I'm saying? That motion. Moving around, trying to see what's going on. You Fact. know what I'm saying? And uh, wind up going back to Memphis, actually, for a little while. And so, he was like, he kept talking to me. He like, man, you know what I'm saying? In order for us to work, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Do something, you don't have to be out here. You know Fact. what I'm saying? I'm like, man, hey. I'm trying Fact. to get out there, man. I'm, I'm just handling it. Uh, uh, uh. It took me a second to get, get in tune, but. I went on ahead and moved on out here, though. You know what I'm saying? Me and my lady came out here and shit. Hell yeah. Been thugging it ever since, man. Getting it right. You know what I'm saying? What is um, some of the benefits of being with a label? And having, like, a team behind you? Benefits is you don't have to do everything yourself. You know what I'm saying? Because as an independent artist, I had no help in Memphis. Like, it was just... Whatever I could do for Jizzle, I was doing it for Jizzle. You know what I'm saying? So getting with an actual team, yeah, it allowed take some of the stress off. You know what I'm saying? You get a chance to look at things from a different standpoint and you actually get to see for yourself, you know what I'm saying, how the business work versus making it go one way. You know what I'm saying? So, like, what is y'all's, like, do y'all have, like, I guess strategic meetings? Do y'all, like, meet up and be like, okay, this quarter, we're doing this, that, and the third. This is how we're going to market it. Like, what is, well, you know, we, like, we how do does what it, we can do? You know okay. what I'm saying? We let go. We talk about the about getting things right for sure. Like we ain't just jumping into it. I don't believe. I would hope <laughs> not. You know what I'm saying? So every now and then, yeah, we have to sit down and talk about things, man. Make sure we got the right things going on. What's make sure the, we headed in the right direction? You know what's what the goal for your career? In your in your career, in your head, ultimate goal. My ultimate goal. My ultimate goal is. <laughs> I made up my ultimate goal, man. Like probably about 
couple months ago. <laughs> Cause I said if I if DJs are gonna have a goal with this entertainment stuff, I said I wanna be just as big as uh Michael Jackson was. Hell yeah, mega icon. Like, like real talk. Like I think I have the that's type I, of energy that's what I like to hear. And, and mindset to really woo a whole lot of people, man. Just have, you know what I'm saying? But it's just gonna take for me to keep putting it in their face and, and let people grab onto it. But like my main reason for doing this is just, you know what I'm saying, to actually be able to see somebody who, you know what I'm saying. Do we, you guys know? Yo, yeah, been fuck shit, fuck. I don't know. We've been, yeah, we been, we've been. Cause I've been trying to get my words together. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. saying? But no, nah, I just want that genuineness, man. Like if I get up there and I see one, at least one or two people who fucking with what I'm doing specifically, D Jizzle, like, you know what I'm saying? That just, that's good enough for me a lot of times, so. I perform for three, four, five people. They ain't, I ain't tripping, you know what I'm saying? Anytime I can get on a stage and get in front of some people, like I'm ready to give them a show. So it's like I just want them to be able to receive it at the end of the day. I feel like this is my natural gift that God put me here for versus anything else I know how to do. Um, you know what I'm saying? When people hear your music at the end of the day, what do you want them to take away from it? Man, the energy. I want them to be able to feel me, like feel the energy coming from these words in this Hell song, yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? Everything has a message, but like the energy is important too. You know what I'm saying? And I sure. kind of want to just, I, I, I try to make the kind of music that's uplifting. You know what I'm saying? And not so much as like that, but like in in energy wise, yeah, like yeah, something yeah. That pump you up. Like I, ain't, I'm, I ain't chill. I'm kind of chill, but I'm really piped up. Like, like I turns oh up everywhere I go. So <laughs> it's like I want people to feel that when they see me Facts. or when they hear me. Like when, if you're gonna turn my music on, you probably headed to the club. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Something like that. So, yeah, that's what I'm going for. Um, so what we're going to do now is, do you know what an elevator pitch is? And if you don't, elevator it's cool. I, I, yep, I can explain it if you don't. Nah, nah, okay. go to that. Okay, that. so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint this scenario. Okay. And within the scenario, we're going to have you pitch to these major record label executives uh -huh. on why they should do business with you and uh, Ugly Money. Okay. okay. As far as like sign in, do a business, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Yeah, so cool. here's a scenario. <clears throat> okay. Um, so basically we on this, uh, all right, we're going to do it like this. Boom. You on stage. You just won your Grammy. So all eyes are on you. Okay. You got one minute to talk to these people while the TV's on you, the camera's on you. One minute to basically talk to them on why they should fuck with your music, sign you, do all of that. Well, hold on. Oh, what going on with you? You hear me? I'm just going to tell y'all like this. Hey, as much as I can stand up here and, and, and sit here or whatever I got to do to explain to y'all what it is y'all need to know, the only thing to know is is that when you're dealing with D-Jizzle, you got good energy. Mm. You got a good show. You know what I'm saying? You got you got good sponsorship. You have a good, uh, what would we call it? What would we call it? brand ambassador, mm. anything like that. You got a lot in me. I have a lot to give. You know what I'm saying? Anywhere from my action to my singing to my comedy to my dance. Like, like I, I just got a lot of energy and it just need to burst out. And who don't need a whole lot of energy when you're trying to put <laughs> something out there? You hear me? And I'm dedicated to it. Strong and loyal to it. It ain't going nowhere. You know what I'm saying? This is really built in me and God gave me this. I got a lot of gifts. I got a lot of talents. But when it comes down to entertainment, this came from God. And anytime God got something to do with it, by my understanding, I don't know what I'm saying? It's gonna work. It's you gonna know work. what I'm saying? Yes, sir. And I want you to believe that as well as I do, because God do. You hear me? God did. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Right, God did. Out, man. Yeah. Ah, you man. Oh, uh, that was fire. That was fire. Okay. Um, and just in case, like, a um, exec, a representative, anybody comes across this interview, how can they, like, reach you social media wise? Anybody want to reach me on social media? Most of it, all of it is just about the same. It's gonna be D Jizzle. D E E J I Z Z L E. That's that's on every on all plat musical platforms, media platform. You can find me at D Jizzle. You know what I'm saying? Might have a double underscore. Check <laughs> in for that. But D Jizzle, that's the name. Okay, man. Um, any last words before we kind of slide out of here? I would like to say, hold on. <laughs> hey, you hear me? Just keep it Jizzle, man. You know what I'm saying? the energy, bro. Not Memphis, baby. D Jizzle, sign it out. All right, guys. Thank you guys for tapping in. Thanks for you for tapping in. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Uh, make sure you tap in with his music. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before we go, what songs are you pushing right now? Just so I actually know. just dropped a brand new singer. I'm pushing Keep It Jizzle. That's my main junk. That's Keep my baby. Jizzle. That's Keep It right Jizzle. That's out right now on Video. all platforms. Video and all that. You know what I'm okay. saying? And I just dropped the motion junk. 
know what I'm saying? It's called motion, M-O-T-I-O-N, you know what I'm saying? Jizzle got motion. Go look up that, find that on all platforms. I ain't gonna say social media because I ain't put it on there. But all musical platforms, you can get that motion. All right, there you guys have it. Adrian Nice, Malvin out, and we are out. Peace. Ah.